And uh, with respect to this whole uh, flip-flop policy and the government now suddenly authorizing the emergency use of uh, uh, you know vaccines uh, produced internationally, where, whereas you know initially they had said uh, they insisted on a bridging trial. Um, uh, what's what's your view on this sudden change? Why the sudden change? Well, obviously, is India's in crisis. So I think, uh, you know, we all are aware of that. But let me also say that, uh, you know, uh, the Moderna and the Pfizer vaccine, many of you are watching this, uh, you know, you guys can probably afford that vaccine because it will probably end up being four or 5,000 rupees or maybe even more than that. But for the common man, this is not a relevant vaccine at all because A, it's more expensive. And second, it requires an insanely difficult cold chain to manage. So uh, I think this will take care of people in the cities who are now upset because they didn't get a good vaccine or they didn't get a vaccine. It'll take care of them, but it's not really going to make a difference really for the, the masses of people in this country, none of whom can afford four or 5,000 rupees of vaccine. And I don't think that these companies plan to make these vaccines at 200 rupees or anything of that sort. Uh, that's not my impression. Uh, so that's number one. Will it make a big difference? The other two vaccines uh, I would seriously have concerns about the Chinese vaccine. The Chinese vaccine is being used in some countries, but the Chinese vaccine by their own head of CDC's admission is at best a 50% efficacious vaccine. It doesn't even meet like a minimum benchmark. And the question would be, why would anyone want to take a 50% vaccine when we have much better vaccines in India itself? The Russian vaccine also is not one I would personally trust or take just because the data from this are not transparent and they're not public. So it is not a vaccine that I would have a great degree of faith in. So